Welcome to the Drunken Bear! Hello everybody! Hello everybody! Uh, we're here in Brighton actually and um, I think I'm going to struggle to not be doing the British accent um, just because I always kind of do it a little bit for fun and sometimes I kind of talk like this I'm stuffing up Rachel's accent as she's trying to get the British accent I'm giving her the ridiculous Aussie accent yeah. Yeah, nah, I'm giving it to it. And so this is our first impression of Brighton in the UK. We're really looking forward to it. So what do we know about Brighton? Well, to be honest, not much. We knew that PewDiePie and Zoella, the massive YouTubers, lived there in their big, massive mansions. But there is a lot more to this city in the UK. One of the perks of being full-time travelers is that you never know which place your heart will belong to next. We were pet sitting really nearby, only about a 10 minute uh, train ride away in Burgess Hill. We'll look after this gorgeous, massive Newfound Newfoundland dog called Hey Ho. So we decided why not head to Brighton, it's really nearby. It's actually only about two hours away by bus. Although it was our second time in England, seeing double-decker buses still excite us because we are like kids. There's one thing I've noticed about being in the UK is that there seems to be different housing in terms of they live like levels. So two to three levels high, one apartment. So small this way, but high up. The houses are really beautiful to look at, but it wasn't really fun to lift our 25 kilogram suitcases all the way up the stairs. Most of the days in our life, we always begin with a nice cup of coffee. But as we're in Britain, we order tea instead. Tea is kind of considered to be a nice icebreaker when someone invites you to their home. So it's kind of important to be aware of your tea preference in Britain. So I've got my tea. I always go one sugar. And a bit of milk every time. A little hotter than I expected. I really like the vibe of this place. It's just so kind of comfy, nice. Feels like you're kind of in someone's house. We're a bit late on breakfast maybe, it's about 11, 11 I think. Mm. Um, so I'm not too sure what time people generally have breakfast here in England. When I have a full English breakfast, I want to make sure that I have an empty stomach. Is it even uh, possible? There's no comeback, Yvonne. There's no comeback for that. Now look at this. Could there be a comeback? I've got mushrooms as well. I love me a good full English breakfast with my tea. Perfect start to a UK stay. Yummy? Yeah, delicious. Really yummy. <laughs> After this, I definitely want to try the Sunday roast mm, with Sunday. Um, the thing, the pudding. Mm, Yorkshire yeah. pudding. Yorkshire pudding, yeah. Mm, I want to try that. We didn't know we were this close to water, guys. Oh my. Like, straight away. The other thing we knew, of course, is that Brighton is actually a suburb in Melbourne. The one in Melbourne was inspired, the name was inspired by Brighton in the UK. And the reason for that is that it's quite similar. It's actually also another beachside suburb. You can almost kind of hear a UK accent, a British accent in Brighton in Australia. Because they kind of speak like this and they're very posh and they're from Brighton. The other thing, of course, that's really well known is Brighton Pier, and you can't miss it. It runs along the beach, it's really, really long. It was built in 1899, and it's still used today, and it's used pretty much mainly as an amusement park, and there's a lot of games. Your fortune is mine for the telling, and yours for the hearing. Come let Zoltar tell you more. Oh my god. Zoltar. Zoltar. This is so cool. Yeah, oh my god. I do know. What's the story of this? I've guy? always wanted to find this machine, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Big, which is one of the best movies ever, but he gets more from making a wish on the Zoltar machine. And the machine is here, so definitely gotta make a wish on for the Zoltar machine. I can become a kid again. Seagull here. What? Do you all want to the seagulls in here? Oh, that's funny, they got the seagulls. They're very 
very patriotic. They have a British flag in their tummy. Oh, they do too. So far, Brighton's just been a blast, and it feels like for the first time, we're actually on holidays. Yeah. It's, I think it's something about the beach and seagulls and this kind of view. It actually makes you feel like you're on holidays, even though we're kind of always on holidays. So, of course, being a very creative city, it's home to a lot of famous artists like the Kooks and also Fatboy Slim, who resides there and he's always doing big festivals along the beach. I used to love the song Praise You. I remember dancing to it so much when it first came out. So, one thing I've realized here in Brighton is that there are so many op shops, and they're very similar to the Australian ones too they look identical actually but there's so many like just on the one street that we're really close to I think I counted at least six maybe seven so many many secondhand stores here you can smell cash everywhere like I just passed by some stores and I smell Amsterdam smell yeah the Amsterdam smell it's a good way of putting it mm. If the day got darker, it was more prominent with the lovely rainbow lights on commercial buildings. There's of course a very large LGBTQ plus community there. So they actually have a gay pride march every August and it is massive. Hundreds of thousands of people. They come all from the UK. Um, in fact, it's actually known as the gay capital of the UK. So it's got a lot going on. There is a very arty, creative scene there and very, very hip. Our first day in Brighton was very successful. Frankly, I was hoping for a little bit of a break from the stressful days from the hustle and bustle of London. I love the fact that this city is full of progressive and alternative youngsters. I mean, this city is not one of the cheapest destinations we've been, but it wasn't outrageously expensive either. It wasn't like London, that's how I felt. Overall, I must say I absolutely love the vibe in Brighton. I love the creative, arty scene that they have there. Um, it's a very kind of young, hip town. And I, I really recommend you go there if you're ever heading to the UK. There's no certainty that we'll be coming back to this part of East Sussex. But you never know, once we become YouTube stars, We'll have a different story. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoy your Brighton trip if you have any plans to go there. And please click subscribe and like and comment if you have any questions or just any silly questions or why is Rachel's hair like this. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Frankly, I was... Frankly, I was hoping for the... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Maybe? Okay, let's go. Oh, okay.